now the solution for the deadlock is either we can prevent the deadlock now if suppose deadlock has happened so what we can do is we can detect the deadlock and we can recover from it so there are two types of solution for the deadlock first we can prevent the deadlock second if deadlock has happened then we have to detect it and further we have to solve the deadlock now deadlock prevention you can see we have two point here advanced locking and ordering data item let's talk about advanced locking when we talk about advanced locking this means that transaction should lock data before execution so before execution means advanced locking so before execution we are locking the data items which are required by the transaction so there will be no uh, deadlock condition in future so it is the prevention of deadlock so let's talk about the second point that is ordering data item ordering data item means here you can see you are locking the data item that is at random we can order that ascending or descending so this is ordering of data item the meaning means the same like transaction logs the data item but now it is in order like ascending order or descending order and it's also before the execution so advanced locking with ordering data item third point we have is timestamp based so in that we have two topics wait die and wound wait these are very important topics so let's understand it carefully in first you can see wait die we have if timestamp of ti is less than timestamp of tj then wait who will wait ti ti waits else ti is rolled back so let's understand this timestamp of ti is less than timestamp of tj means what ti is older than tj if younger transaction comes then timestamp would be greater of the younger transaction obviously so if this condition happens then ti should wait and if ti is greater than timestamp of tj then it should roll back this means it should terminate and restart again after some time terminate and restart again after some time so this is the important part if less then wait if greater then roll back and restart after some time but but when we talk about wound wait it's uh, something different see if ts that is timestamp of ti is greater than timestamp of tj then wait yes if it is greater then it wait who will wait again ti waits so you can see that in wait die if timestamp of ti is less than ti waits but in wound wait if timestamp of ti is greater then ti waits but here is the interesting part else tj is rolled back this means that ti kills or wounds tj so tj is killed or wound so tj terminates if tj terminates means tj is rolled back and it is restart after some time let's take a quick recap see wait and die wound and wait two condition so we can have only two condition in the question so ti is less than tj first condition ti is greater than tj second condition so i have used if and else just for the simplicity so if ti is less than tj wait but in wound and wait if ti is greater than tj then ti waits important part you have to note that else ti is rolled back but else tj is rolled back why tj rolled back because ti kills tj or let's say wound vj uh, tj so tj terminates now the last point we have in deadlock prevention is timeout based so what happens in timeout based we have transaction now this transaction waits for fixed time for any resource let's say resource x if transaction fails to get that resource all right in a given time if it fails to get that resource in a given time then transaction is rolled back and it restart after some time all right so this is the time out based if it gets that resource in that particular time then it's okay but if it fails to get that resource then it is terminated and it is restarted again after some time to so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट